Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Sesame with a video here today. I bring you guys episode number three of redesigning your PSDs. If you guys have not watched episode number one or two, I should have a playlist now in the top right over here. If you guys go ahead and watch, if you guys have not, this is your first one. Hopefully you learned something and inspired by doing something and just like, you just learn and have a little bit of fun watching me redesign some of my fans PSDs that they gave me in my Discord, discord.gg slash SOHQ, um, that I redesigned with like different techniques and just sort of like a different idea, and a different vision and different perspective. So with that being said, I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, that's about it. If you guys have not subscribed, please just hit the subscribe button because that's weird if you don't. Like we, we're going to have a thing together. So uh, yeah, peace. Love you guys. All right, guys, let's go and get this thing going right here, right now. So I have my first design here I'm going to be redesigning, which is this cool G Fuel advertisement designed by someone named Jaden. You guys will see his tag um, on the bottom right or whatever. So, okay, you know, I think right off the bat, like I'm going to get, I'm probably just going to get rid of some of these other things. I probably won't need this, right, or this. First thing I got to notice is um, the weird contrast that I was not the biggest fan of was these rings that showcase on the actual G Fuel ad and then these here that are more pixelated. So I think I'm going to transition and like use the same exact kind of positioning almost, but like a little bit of a twist. We'll find out. We'll dive into it and let's just get this thing going. Okay. So rings. I need to take these rings. I found these rings over on Google, right? Okay. I'm just going to really copy this image over and put this in here. Boom. Okay. So I'm going to just quickly cut it out with some subject select. Okay, and I'm just gonna simply use this button right here. Now what I'm gonna probably end up doing here is I'm noticing that my sort of ringtone that I have here is ringtone, you know what I meant. The ring color that I have here is not like the, the best brightest of the yellow, so I'm gonna actually take this and make it more yellow. Okay, I think right about there is pretty good. So I'm actually gonna take these now and position them around this kind of canvas the way that he kind of has them here. So I'm gonna take these out and then put mine in. Okay, now that I have that kind of all set and done, I think the background here, I don't know what's kind of going on here, we have this is on linear dodge add, this is on overlay, this is on overlay, and then it kind of disappears and has this. And it has this checker pattern. Checker pattern is kind of cool. Okay, so I definitely want to use this. What is this? What's going on here? Overlay, overlay, so let's put this on normal. Ah, okay, now we got a color scheme going just for just from doing that. Um, you got a good background choice. I'm not entirely sure what the reasoning for going super dark and sort of like heavy. So I think this is actually pretty good. I think one thing I might do right now is just at least size this down a little bit so I got a little more space to work with. And they can see more of the background. So I don't know what's going on here. Some kind of light hit. Okay, let's take the light hit out. Let's actually go ahead and get rid of the shadow on the bottom here because that doesn't really need to be here because we are not really working on making this sort of feel like it's on a surface, but more or less just kind of like sitting and floating in the air kind of. Okay, so I went around the entire model edge just to make it a little more cleaner just by using the eraser just to kind of make it, like I said, a little more clean. I'm actually going to take this ring here and put it in front of this canvas. So I'm going to take this ring right here, make a duplicate and put it in front of the actual canvas. Then I'll go back to this. Before I actually do that, I should use this layer mask here. Then I'll take this layer mask on this new ring duplicate and only erase it right here. And that way, right, this is, I guess, low key, I don't really need the one on the bottom. But for the record, I think that's just, you know, good enough. I think I make a duplicate because you want to, right? So, okay, after that, I would say this was pretty good here. I might make it a little more smaller. Let's make it a little more dynamic. Maybe just put it like a few rings around, right? Boom, and just like that, we just make it a little bit more dynamic, which actually looks pretty cool just by adding a few more rings and not trying to be super, how do you say, in front of the actual design, but kind of just like, you know, assisting just a little bit to really sell this kind of Sonic the Hedgehog theme. I do think the background and this actual stock right here can use a little bit more of a color correction here. So I'm put some sharpens on it, a uh, little bit of smoothness on it, on the background and the object, just to make it a little more cleaner in this case. And just like that, a little bit more noise reduction right here and a little bit sharpening. That's the only thing I did. You can see how the eyes kind of pop out a lot more. The G feel kind of pops out a little bit more. I think a little more crisper. And I'm going to do the same exact thing with the background. So I'm going to go ahead and say this text right here, which is right here. I don't know what these fonts are, but I'm going to just go ahead and try to use something a little more sort of like Sonic-like. Okay, so the font that I actually ended up downloading didn't have any of this sort of like, uh, how do you say, symbols that I needed. So I opted to use this Prenton RP Condensed. Um, Pretty solid, pretty good. I actually don't know if this is default in Photoshop or not, or if I downloaded it before, but it seems to kind of fit the aesthetic and it's not too far off what I had originally. So I think now, it's like I said, it's just kind of find a nice spot for it. I think somewhere around here is pretty good. I'm gonna play with it just for a quick more second just to make sure it's exactly where I want it to be, you know? Okay, before I tell you guys what I'm about to do, you tell me if you know what I'm about to do right now see if you guys have the same idea as me. Ah, uh, okay. You tell me if we had the same idea or not, or is that not fire? Like, tell me that's not fire right now. I think that's pretty freaking good. Not gonna lie. 
Okay, I also didn't even notice that he has this little person here, right? A little Sonic kind of cutout here. I just like touched it and I was like, oh, you can move it. Okay, so what I might actually end up doing is just like kind of have the rings kind of almost feel like you can jump through and like go through here. I think there's some cool narrative that I can do that the Sonic sort of character ends right here, right? A little more smaller, just to like kind of be more playful with it, right? Would it be blue? I, for I can't remember. I gotta like look it up, but like a cool aura of blue, kind of like going through and in and out of the rings to make it look like there's this really cool dynamic there. We're also not trying to get in the way of the actual, you know, advertisement in the middle. So let's try, let's try that out really quick. Okay, quick research says it's stars. I'm gonna try to find these stars really quick. Let's see. I'm not gonna lie. I think it looks pretty good so far. I, want, I don't know what exactly I wanna try to do next, but I think it'll work with this sort of bottom piece here, making these logos kind of fit more for the actual canvas. And I think we're on our way after that. Okay, I think I've, I think I found a pretty good spot for the, like these logos right up here. And I also moved everything pretty much down, uh, as in like the actual advertisement and the rings themselves. And I think one last thing I want to actually try to end up doing here is on a new layer, I want to go ahead and just kind of like make these sort of like quick sort of like lines. You see how these lines here, there's like this really cool sort of like pattern in the background here. If we just put that little bit of effort in there with a nice little simple blur in here, right? Ooh, that looks pretty good just like that. But I'm gonna put it maybe on a soft light. I think little final touches here is gonna put like outer glows, maybe like a final color correction, a glow around the ring with just using this sort of like, uh, how do you say? A new brush here. Go around and put that little glow around the rings here. And I think we're pretty much set. So let's give that a little bit of a go and uh, see where we end off there. All right, perfect. I think this is exactly where I kind of want it to end. Like I think the glows are perfect, the little star kind of story here, maybe not right in front of the G Fuel ad as they probably want their logo to be seen at all points here. Just kind of like put it like, maybe right there is pretty good, right? Or, or just let's get rid of it. We don't need that many stars really. We're trying to tell the like quick story that this is going through this ring, over, under this ring here, and the kind of like Sonic Hedgehog is like going through. So that story is kind of fun and to like see if they see it, right? But then everything else looks pretty freaking do uh, dope. We went from this to this, and all you, you kind of see I think in this case here the idea was there I just think I kind of left it to more of less is more and really letting the actual how do you say the people that already designed Sonic really carry the design right I didn't change much with the actual background colors uh, besides the sky itself putting a little gradient on it right I'll uh, make it a little more blue to kind of hit the little blue more but just uh, really allowing the actual design to be carried by the artist that already designed it in the first place just like highlighting it and giving it your touch and your ideas of composition to really help it look as good as it can be so that's what I'm gonna say right there. And uh, yeah, I'll give you guys a before and after right here just so you don't see it here. But yo, you let me know in the comments below. I think this was pretty freaking dope. So let's go ahead and get to the next one uh, because I'm actually super happy about this one. I hope the person that's watching it as well can see all the improvements that I ended up trying for it and uh, my ideas for it and just run with it. So yeah, let's, let's go to the next one. All right, guys, so it's a it's a new day, right? We're moving on, this is the next day. However, we are working with a Fortnite header design. I feel like we always have a Fortnite design in here, um, whatever, but like this was actually kind of cool because it has a really cool kind of like theory and crafting to it. It's designed by someone of the name of Andy. I put this tag on the bottom right per usual. Now, I think this design is pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, it's a, it has a really dope, I can see the concept, I can see the effort and the layers just by going through it really quickly. I can tell there's a lot going on. So, what I'd probably say is, I don't know what the black sort of splat was. It's very, I think, distracting this way. This sort of like really big shapes. Um, all these kind of like, you know, uh, how do you say, these butterflies being the same colors, things like that. So, I, uh, the first thing I'm gonna immediately do is I'm gonna go through this PSD. I'm gonna delete all the stuff that's hidden um, that's not being shown right now. Okay, so I just stripped down some, like a few things. I actually even stripped down the fact that this was yellow. I put them in their own layers. I basically kind of highlighted the stuff that I definitely wanna go ahead and like give it a shot and look at. Um, yellow so that way I can go back to and be like, okay, don't forget about this So I'm actually gonna try to make the middle bigger first There's gonna be a lot of objects I gotta select but I'm trying to make the middle bigger first and then we'll just kind of go from there and uh, Hopefully work our way through and make everything a little more sort of like misty and fun Okay, I made it a little bit bigger I think now I'm just gonna take a quick second and make these sort of like butterflies different colors So I have some greens some blues some oranges um, based on the actual character skin, which is actually a pretty good um, eye to the actual person who did this, Andy. So, I mean, I'm going to just do that really quick and just kind of get that going for myself here. Okay, that was pretty simple, obviously. So, I'm actually going to go ahead and go through this and kind of give the actual composition itself, the, like, the really cool sort of tightness that's going on here. I don't know. I want to I want to kind of, like, just give it a little more space to see if that's what we need here. It might not be what we need, like, but it might not be what we need, excuse me. But I'm going to still see what happens when I do so and kind of give this a little bit more of a uh, like more space. 
So right now I'm just actually trying to, I went ahead and actually made like a really big sort of uh, asteroid here, just from one of these copies here, made it Gaussian blurred. Cause of course, if it's Gaussian blurred in the front kind of the face is basically meaning it's really big. It's really out of focus. Cause you're looking past it. So I'm going to just do that a few more little things right around here. I think I even think if I were to, how do you say, maybe like even try to make like some sort of belt that goes like around, like almost like little rocks, almost floating around the person might be a cool look. We'll just kind of see what happens with these rocks. I'm just focus on these for a second. All right, I feel like the little asteroid bits is pretty good. I also am going to take a bit of these duplicates of these clouds here, give them a layer mask, and almost sort of like not just make it so it's more, how do you say, white and kind of like filled, but I'm going to make it more filled towards the bottom so it feels like it can actually carry this sort of like, you know, asteroid here. So I'm going to go ahead and just do that same thing over here for this one. Then I feel like it has this really cool stock over here that if I just kind of shrink this down a bit like this, right, and I'll just go ahead and try to like, you know, rotate it something like that and we can make these really cool sort of like belts around these places that almost feel like it's another atmosphere or another like sort of galaxy in the background and we'll just kind of like find some love here so i'm gonna see if i make this black here nice now if i just kind of match the tone of the background a little bit more i get this really cool sort of like space-esque kind of area going on in the background here i do think this stock right here is just so heavy i don't know what in the world this is I feel like it's just a little bit too heavy. I also I can see the cut lines here, so I'm gonna try to fix those as well because that's kind of bothering me. I'm also gonna move these shooting stars over just a little bit more. I feel like just moving it over just a little bit more kind of like adds. I don't know. I feel like they're a little bit too hidden behind like the actual sort of like render here on this side. So I'm gonna make sure I kind of like give it a little more love. Also, as much as I do love this little ball here, I think it's like it has this gradient on here. But even this, right? So I think what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna move this star here. And I'm just going to go ahead and give this two gradients and not just one this time and kind of like allow it to be this orange and blue mix here. That kind of gives you the fact that this sort of like ring around really rotates around this cool little nebula thing. And I just kind of think I move this rock that I have on the right hand side over on the left hand side probably looks a little bit better. And I also think nothing screams code without a bit of under dashes, right? Some only ifs and ifs and if onlys freaking like brackets and just random equal signs. So I'm going to put a little bit more of those in and like texturize a little bit more and see if uh, I can get like a really cool uh, kind of idea there, you know? So pretty much all I'm doing now, you can see these little areas here with this text. I basically am now using text as a texture and actually just using typography as a way to carry out this really cool texture and making the actual sort of little, how do you say, hints of these little texts and like fun little Easter eggs, right? And with the actual text being textured, just helps me fill space and overall can just use it. You can put it anywhere and you can just do whatever the heck you want to say. So I think over here, I'll say like, good luck. You know, now that kind of space over there also ties into this kind of side over here. Makes it look pretty good. Also, you know, what's kind of funny. Shirt was on backwards. <laughs> I didn't even realize. Can you tell I like maybe woke up not too long ago before recording this video and I just, you know, might have forgot. It's okay. It happens to the best of us. Um, okay. So where am I going to probably go next? I do think this little edge over here is bothering me quite a lot. This little crystal. So I'm gonna give it a little bit of blur. I think it might look a little bit better. Nice little blur. Get rid of those edges and I'll go ahead and go over here. Just take it. Oops. Only on the Gaussian blur and just give it only sharp edges in some areas. So, okay. What I think I'm doing, uh, probably going to do now is try to work with like this character skin. Um, it was a little bit more sort of like dull to get more of that kind of like dreamy esque idea. So I'm going to try to do the same exact thing here. So I pretty much like heavily softened up a lot of the actual kind of like tones and everything like that. Gave it a lot of noise reduction. So it's uh, not noise reduction, but also this right here. Sharpen noise reduction and color reduction, just to give it, like I said, just like that quote, like more of a dreamy escape. So right now at this point, I'm pretty much sort of like, I feel like done rearranging things. I think at this point now, we need to just go all the way up to the top, use a nice brush, soft brush, go into this, just add light into these little areas to hopefully kind of bring some sort of like, you know, bounce light kind of esque idea going on here, just kind of make it look more more done, like a more finished look. Now, what I also probably think here, I wanted to add this texture back in because this is like a kind of like a main point in his original one over here, right? So I'm gonna probably over like do over here. So I'm gonna take basically using this like really old method back in the day. We're gonna basically make a whole bunch of different glitches because obviously if the game crashed, it probably glitched, right? So you can just add a little bit of a glitch over here, right? So I'm just gonna put a lot of these over here. Now with these glitches, I'll just go ahead and just layer via copy because I don't have to mess with this layer right now, right? And I have this little sort of like weird thing over here, but if I change this to divide, right? I get more of like a cool sort of like 
almost tearing effect going on here. So if I go back into this with a nice little layer mask, right? And I just go ahead and use my brush over here. I feel like I get a pretty cool look. And I mean, let's just see what happens. Just like that. I think it looks pretty freaking dope. It's just it like as a whole, it actually does add this really cool kind of like tearing kind of effect. And I think in the one I do a nice little finalization, like full on thing, I will do like another glitch. I think it's going to look pretty dope. So a quick finalized touch on these little sort of like butterflies here, giving more of a layer style. I want to see what I kind of quickly did, right? Just a very simple layer style. I don't know if you can tell even, but very simple layer style here. And uh, I'm just going to actually combine all these layers together, give it a color correction right now. Perfect, simple color correction. I'm going to do this little glitch thing one more time with very, very skinny rectangles and making sure I find areas where I can actually split text, split the flowers, and like even split the eye or something like that, right? Like a vision control kind of thing, right? Trying to like mess around with that kind of idea still. All we got to do now is move it toward the right. And you can see these little glitch tears here are very, very subtle and also still add a lot when you end up zooming out and you see these little tears everywhere. You're like, oh crap, like it really is glitching. It really is assisting. And besides when I feel when people end up in these areas where they want to like, they have a design, it's so good. You want to keep adding and adding and adding. The last thing you want to do is add things to basically mess with what you already had really well in the beginning and add things, the subtle details that when people look at your art, they can see a progress and a lot more time, not based on how many stocks you put in, but what you did with your stocks you had to elevate the actual look of the stock. So overall, I think we did a pretty crazy, God dang, like the difference is I think incredibly dope. Like. The person Andy here did a, like an actual, like genuinely beautiful job when it comes to the actual concept. I got inspired very, very like quickly because I was like, I get what the person was looking for, but I think stripping it down, assisting more and really giving that cool sort of like glitch atmosphere and really running with it and really like diving deeper when it comes down like the idea with the text here. Like I want to add more text. How am I going to add more text? Maybe I'll make the text a texture and give it more of that cool game crash idea to really, really sell that idea. So. I'll put up the before and after right here, right now. You guys tell me what it looks like. I don't know. I think it looks pretty freaking dope, but you guys are like the judges. Let me know if you also want to see. I'm going to put two in this episode as well. We're not going to the third one, but I think the two that I put in here are super, super dope. So with that being said, guys, that's the end of the video here today. I apologize if you guys heard like any construction or anything like that going on. My apartment complex is going under like super renovation. So apologize if you guys hear that every now and again in the episode, but Hopefully you guys enjoyed, you learned something, you had a lot more fun just watching. I do think this is definitely so far my favorite episode just because what we have done and the transformation before the before and afters, they just look super dope. So if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button, please like the video, please comment down anything you want to see me do personally on my channel. And with that being said, Senso HQ out. Do not forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. Later. Much love. Love you guys. See ya.